Imagine how you'd feel if a foreign country invaded your land with its armies and separated massive sections to create new borders, causing the death and displacement of millions of people. This is exactly what happened when the British Empire played the part of ruthless villain with their role in the partition of India, which would create one of the biggest refugee crises of all time. Here is a very brief history of the timeline. India would come under British rule in 1858 after a failed uprising by its people. The British Raj ruled over the Indian subcontinent would take place from 1858 to until its independence in 1947. India's role on the global stage would be increased with their involvement in World War I, fighting and dying alongside the British as allies. India would also take part in World War II with more than two and a half million of their soldiers fighting the Axis forces during the North and East African campaigns. After the war and the Allied forces' victory, new elections were held in India in 1946. The religious issues and conflicts between those who were of the Muslim, Sikh and Hindu faiths continued as the Indian people did what they could to rally away from British rule. The possibility of a united India was falling apart as different religious leaders and politicians couldn't work together to decide what was the best for the entirety of the country. The Prime Minister of Britain during that time was Clement Attlee, who took over after Winston Churchill left the role. Attlee's foreign policy focused on decolonization, or the undoing of colonialism, and he would appoint India's last viceroy, a man named Lord Louis Mountbatten, to ensure a smooth British withdrawal from the area. It didn't work out. The British left too quickly, and Mountbatten realized that he would have no choice but to realize that partition was necessary to transfer power quickly to the new, fledging government as they were attempting to take power. The hasty removal left the forever changed and newly shaped regions based on religious beliefs in a state of confusion and disorder and skirmishes would occur throughout the land. Although Prime Minister Attlee wanted to avoid partition and Lord Mountbatten was supposed to convey these orders, by 1947 the Radcliffe Line was established separating India from what would become the new Dominion of Pakistan. This would separate the predominantly Hindu and Sikh areas of India away from the mostly Muslim-focused religion of Pakistan. On the 18th of July in 1947, the British Parliament passed the Indian Independence Act, which finalized the partition and removed all British authority of the territories at the time. The brutality of the massacres that followed during the separation was beyond savage. Estimated deaths would reach up to two million people, although the definitive number would never be known, and 10 to 20 million people were displaced. The swift retreat of the British and the partition of India would devastate the inhabitants and cause chaos until present day. The partition in India is still one of the most highly controversial arrangements that's ever been created, and it remains the cause of massive amounts of tension as India and Pakistan currently have a shaky and hostile relationship with each other today.